Starbus is an innovation catalyst. We're partnering with large corporations like Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, Millennium Space, Aerospace Corporation, GE, Panasonic, and Talus, and more to help to them to find startups and small businesses that are aligned with their technology needs. DARPA for us is a, is a great uh, meaning. It's linked to the Pentagon. Um, it's a good combination of what we want to achieve, which is uh, key advanced technologies combined with an entrepreneurial spirit, and that's why we are here. So DARPA presents the epitome of innovation in the aerospace and defense industry, and to help bring that uh, our formula of working with startups that really present the next generation of values in building a business and venture capital, working with investors in venture capital, we're really excited to try and uh, bring these two different cultures together and work, uh, help introduce uh, startups in our community with the innovators that are working with DARPA and other agencies and we think this is going to be a really fun event today to uh, uh, have everyone kind of learn about what else is happening on the other side. A big part of what we're trying to do at Aerospace is get out in front of the innovation curve, understand it for our customers, and help bridge our customers' understanding of the old versus the new way of doing space. Often there's a very high technical risk, right? So if you're really pushing the boundary of technology in aerospace, you're proving out something that nobody's ever done before. And so for us, we're kind of looking at, okay, what is that stage where the technology's maybe been around for decades? And it's getting to that level of maturity, but now it's a question of, can you scale it? Has there been an advancement, whether in computation or in access to some off-the-shelf components, which are now at a state that you can start scaling these technologies to really come to market? And so I think it's important not to get excited about the finer points of any particular technology and actually recognize, is there a commercial market that we can really capitalize on in the nearer term, three to five years? A lot of the startups that are here today are looking for those contracts and that expertise that the large corporations bring to help bring them to market faster and help accelerate their growth. And it doesn't have to be a competition, it can actually be cooperative and they can move forward together. So we're looking to uh, expand our reach in terms of customers, partners, and we're also kicking off a round of uh, Series A funding. And so we want to look for uh, uh, you know, potential investors that are aligned with our goals and with our interests in uh, research and development. And we're pretty happy with the list of the uh, attendees that we've seen so far. So it, we'll, it'll be interesting to see who uh, really resonates with what we're doing. We really want industry to get a little bit more excited about all the innovations coming out of DARPA as well as working with entrepreneurs that have the potential to grow their businesses, not just on cutting edge technology, but opportunities to really change the aviation industry and space industry itself, as well as defense.